Hey, what's up, guys? It's Rick here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sanctum 2. No, I'm kidding. Hey, what's up, guys? It's been a while since I actually recorded anything, so I decided to post this little video here just saying that I'm still live in the channel, it's still doing just fine. Obviously, I've been quite busy lately, so I do not know if I'll be able to upload more Sanctum. But uh, it's gonna be done at some point. It's just that uh, with our, everything happening lately, it's just that I have like next to no time to, up to record anything. But today, I decided to record a little something for you guys, so you don't actually get bored too much. But anyways, on a slight note here, my buddy just decided to uh, watch this on Steam, because for some odd reason, Steam actually added a, a somewhat weird streaming services where you can actually stalk on your buddy's video games. So, we're trying that out. I'm actually put my microphone, so my buddy's actually capable of listening and posting comments that you are probably going to see pop up in the top left of the screen or something if he decides to post anything or he's gonna be shy and just leave me to talk and oh yeah there you go the comment here also I'm I, don't I hope that's not gonna fuck up my microphone because technically my microphone's being capped by like both my uh, capture well my capture card but both my recording software and my steam and so it's microphone's like being recorded by pretty much everything there is in the web Hold on, what do you say, buddy? I have very I have a lot of trouble reading, so I'm pretty far from the laptop. But anyways. Okay. okay. What was doing? Oh yeah, that's skirmishes. Scout, shell answer. Fuck leaving man. What the fuck him? Hold on. <laughs> I have to like Pause uh, just to. Uh, I have to open up my <laughs> my stream uh, and my Steam uh, overlay because for some odd reason the, the, the characters are so freaking small on the overlay, it's not even funny. That's been. I need to also uh, put a little note here. It's not that I'm blind, it's mostly that currently I'm sitting very far from a laptop because I did not I took time to actually place it properly. And so, because of that, it's actually very, very hard for me to actually read anything that's pop up in the screen in small characters. Being that, that being said, the screen is also very high resolution, which means the text is, I, is really, really small. But yeah. That being said, let's do this. Okay, so... I've wasted enough time, enough time already. Shock Trooper, Sniper, and... You know what? I'll actually put another scout here because... Scouts are life. In this game, scouts are freaking life. Should be alright on this side. I'm gonna do a little swap up real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that is. I noticed that when you stream something on, on Steam, it just has a kind of a huge delay on it. Like, quite a huge one. I don't know if the voice is actually synced or anything. Let's see. But. I don't want to sacrifice a scout because scouts is good. Guess I'll put like. I do need an actual. I have a tank here, so I don't really need a shock trooper. Yeah, that should be alright. If there's anything, I'll use a snipe to kill the troopers. So, anyways, let's go do this. You'll commence combat. It's actually quite awkward. It's the first time I actually used the uh, Steam streaming Let's services, and it's Gallia. weird. Squad seven, it's really weird. Out. It kind of feels like when you're streaming it Twitch, but it just has a few things that like works weirdly weird about it. Just a few quirks. Although I'm quite happy to actually put that in. If you I mean if you if your buddy wants you want, like watch you play a game, you can actually just like do it. Okay, so do this, Eddie. Be careful about mine, I don't know how many times I died of that one freaking annoying mine. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Here, you kind of have to like switch shoulders because you're just a little bit too uh, too far. I don't even know if that's gonna work. We can try it. Like, yeah, shot. That cannon, I mean, seriously, it's, it's a freaking sniper rifle. If you just dare to put your tank in the fire in the sideline, it's just gonna hit it no matter what. Computers are weird with like rockets and stuff. This game rockets are usually inaccurate, but computers don't give a shite at all. Oh yeah, talking about that mine. 
<laughs> it had to happen. Enemy spotted. I see one. Good thing for me, I think I'm slightly a little bit uh, over level for this because that mine should have killed me. Of course, part I didn't grind that much. Should be done for this one. Marlon, really, when you want to play this game, you want to avoid as many enemies as possible and just rush straight for it. But since I. I'm ready to go. Since this game is fairly difficult compared to the second one on PSP, which is like super easy, I'll try to. Uh, and also, since I, the first time I. Yep. Computers just snipe. Obviously, buddy. Seriously, here's the game just snipe. A lot. There, here. I could move southbound a little bit, but you know what? There's only one base camp I could totally just flank, so I'll just. Okay, yeah. Bad idea. Surprise, shock troopers! Not much I can do about that. I think what I'll do is I'll just. I'll bring Hedy uh, right about there. Bring your hitty as as close as possible. I might be able to right, here I go. recuperate from that blunder. <laughs> She's gonna place her right here so she tries to shoot the shock troopers. Then bring that tank here. Hostile sighted. Yeah, surprise shock trooper is the worst thing, man. Surprise shock trooper is like hell. Gotta love nature. Try not to let your guard down. Put that tank right here, so it should be able to do something. Next turn, let's hope that my actual piece of ally don't actually die there. Also, medium tank, please move towards the, the front line as much as possible, leaving the entire base camp devoid of actual uh, actual defense. I don't know where he's going. I wish you, you would leave the base, and that would be awesome because I could just like move in. That being said, a yeah, piece of ally because allies are a bunch of pieces. Exactly what I wanted happen. The shock troopers stopped because of the, because he saw a scout. Although Kira is pretty badly damaged, but it's not that bad because uh, I have another shock trooper behind. So if she gets down, I just call another shock trooper. I'm not really Under aiming for A ranks fire. since it's the first time I actually did that skirmish. And I have no idea where all the enemies are placed. So Mine come on, little wise, you can take that. You're sturdy. Plus, I have Carl behind to just repair the entire thing if it gets damaged. Okay, now Operation Salvage this problem. Use Eddie. Stage. Hopefully, Eddie will be able to not kill a Kira by moving straight in front of Yes! Just like that. Also, Kira is capable of helping. That's one CP left. Let's not die on the mine straight in front of us, shall we? Also, let's end the turn as soon as possible so that we don't get shock trooped. Stay with us, it won't be long now. Like that. Taking the stage. This is the, the fun part when you know you need to shoot as soon as you get your turn, so you just mash the, the shoot button as much as possible. And I would have been really sad if that shot get. would actually kill the shot 
I hope it's not gonna be another shock trooper one here, because I'd be pretty pissed if it is. Ah, oh, come on! Uh, I should pay more attention. I know where the mines are, just don't pay enough attention, I guess. Anyways, Kiro's pretty much dead at this point, so I'll just call another one. I'll call... dead. Again, I'm not aiming for A-ranks at this point, Entering I don't really combat. care. There's gonna be a bunch of mines here, I'm gonna have to uh, make sure that uh, I have some, uh, some uh, engineers. Also, if you like tank, you'll get shot in the grill, because I can don't really have a choice. Let's see if I can get uh, someone to repair that tank. And also to just to shoot. I don't think I'll be able to reach a tank. Yeah, the freaking mine is a troll. I don't think I'll be able to, to shoot the tank here. Ah, that kind of sucks. Not as good try to fix that thing. I don't think I'll be able to reach, actually. Understood. But I'll be able to at least get close to the actual tank. So I can actually repair it eventually. Uh, I just need to hide behind it. Nice. So now it should be fine for now. The other one should be able to sustain a, a full uh, frontal assault for what, at least one turn. It's gonna be pretty damaged, but it's gonna be able to sustain it. Here's gonna be able to fix it next turn. Damage minimal. Or it's gonna die. If it dies, I'll just give up. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able. I have to think about next time I actually do this one. I'll have to think about the two shark troopers on the side. And the fact that there's actually quite a bit more entire armor than I thought there, there was. Fire. Yeah, I guess I'll, that's gonna be a restart. But at least I'll know. Sometimes you just gotta like probe the battlefield in this game, <laughs> just to know at least where stuff is. It's, if you don't really know where everything is, you don't really know how, how to place your, I mean, how to compose your squad. So you'll end up in a place where you just get utterly wrecked like that. Anyways, got my scout back, so I'll be able to uh, use that. But for now, somebody has to fix the tank. This, that's the reason why I say that if you lose Thank it, you. that's the reason why I say that the engineer in this game, if you have one near a tank, the tank is pretty much invincible because the amount, this is pretty much an entire turn worth of like heavy fire from nature. enemies that just got repaired in one turn. Enemy sighted. Also, I'm going to try to break the cover for those Lancers so that somebody can actually shoot them. Enemy sighted. Also, I'll shoot these guys instead. Now! Fargo can actually take care of that tank. These guys must go. Good work. I have another mortar if I ever need some extra fire. Fargo! Try to not look that dumb. Carl, you're gonna help me shoot the tank? <laughs> or that shock troop? I mean, that, that uh, Lancer? Oh boy, that's a bit bad. Oh well. I'll fight with you. I guess you deal with what you you have. I mean, to kill that tank. But unfortunately, the, the Lancer is kind of the way. And unfortunately, in this game, Lanc Lancers are have so little movement that it's not even funny. That. So then I can actually use my tank to finish this off. Here we go. 
Then I can use Carl to go in and kill some uh, some Lancers. Boy, that's bad. Fifty HP survival. Hypercast died apparently. This is gonna be pretty derp. Boink. Now let's see our Largo getting shot by Lancers multi uh, rapidly and my tank gets shot in the radiator because funds. I think that uh, medium tank actually has a flamethrower, so it means that... Damage yeah, also, that's one reason why I don't really care about the enemy lancers. They're too dumb to actually aim at your radiator. Also, one reason why I say that the other wise is pretty much invincible. Since they don't actually aim at your freaking radiator. Look at this guy, he's actually going away from the radiator. When you could totally shoot at it. To shoot in the front. Damage minimal. Ladies and gentlemen. Freaking. Freaking, freaking AI. Well done. Now let's go grab uh, the incapacitated unit before it dies. <laughs> kind of a good idea. That. There we go. go. You're dead. Enemy found. We're coming. Medic. I'm the look out there. There should be a few shock troopers, obviously, here because. If they don't put any shark trooper here, that would be too easy to capture the camp. But obviously, they got There's bound to be a few of them, at least. Anyways, Carl need you to repair the tank. Also, that you actually might want to actually shoot this guy in the face. Engineers are not supposed to fight, but they have the same gun as the actual uh, scouts, so they're pretty much just like. Less defense, less movement scout, but offensively they're pretty much the same. So. There's no shame in fighting with a scout with an actual, uh, with an actual uh, engineer. They kind of fixed that in the second game where they actually gave, gave a, uh, a uh, an actual pistol to, uh, to engineers, so they don't actually do as much damage as a regular scout. Entering combat. Which is kind of a good idea because, to be honest, with, with all it's just doesn't make much sense that the actual uh, engineer has the same amount of damage output than an actual uh, scout. Also, go away. I love how the Lancer, which is supposed to have an entire armor, an entire explosion suit, took actual less damage. I mean, took more damage than the actual scout, which has none. The scout was an ace, so that could explain it. I'll do my best. Where is everybody? Fortunately, I think I'm gonna have to spam Carl in this one because I really need to capture that camp so they don't actually uh, get some reinforcement done. Although I think in this map they don't actually call reinforcement, so there's no real point of it of doing that. I think Largo could reach. Could Largo could reach. I'm gonna try with Largo because I really need to move him forward and also because I really want that camp. But before reaching the camp, let's have fun. Hopefully, not kill our tank in the process because that's pretty dumb. Ugh, crap. 
I realized in this game that the movement cap for Lancers is very is horribly low compared to uh, what they did in the sequel. <laughs> Actually, in the sequel, there's one class of uh, Lancer that I can't say is the superior type of class because in the second game they actually split uh, units into sub into subclasses. And crap, I can't actually shoot because I'm out of ammo. But I would have the Edelweiss to help me out, which would surely kill that guy. I thought I was gonna be healed. Let's do this. Okay, so how do we tackle the last piece of the map, which is a huge, huge ass base? Probably a lot of mortar and uh, tank fire. Although the tank has a flamethrower, which means it's showing its weak point. Okay, if that's what you want, I'm not gonna complain. Although the tank has a flamethrower, which means that it's not actually capable of arming Mito Wilds. And that answer is pretty dumb. Just stayed stain steel and could actually fire this gun. Or RPG if you want. Okay, so now what I need to do is to get rid of that tank. And once that's gonna be done, I'll be able to actually go and capture that go. camp. Be careful about those mines. I can step on one of them. And take the damage just fine, but I don't want—I don't want to step on two of them. Uh, do I go for the money shot? Yes, I want. And I hit, which is more than I could actually hope for. Let's bring Largo. Largo has one RPG shot, so if I can actually hit with Largo, that should be awesome. I want to get rid of that tank. Oh, come on, man. That was close. I didn't say that uh, the very, very early stages of Valkyra are very RNG, just because of the sheer amount of inaccuracy that early weapon have compared to late game weapons have. Like hitting a tank in the weak spot in, in early game is quite an ordeal. That tank is gone, we just need to storm the base for everybody else. And it would be the end of this very sloppy mission. Jesus movement cap. I really hope, I haven't actually played this game completely and I really really hope that later in the game they do get extra movement. I think I'm gonna be quite mad. Okay, let's bring the scout. Careful about that shark trooper who just doesn't want to. Who's too lazy to actually attack us. Apparently, Bean is having some trouble with the broadcast. Thank you, thank you. Steam, Steam broadcasting is apparently very beta. Report. What is the enemy up to there? Ooh, found one. Uh, yes. I'll wait for now. Next turn, that should be the end of the mission. With a mortar placed in the in the actual enemy camp, should be good for actually uh, winning. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> That's an anti tank cannon, not an anti personal one, dude. Is this 
Apparently Steam has some trouble with my connection. <laughs> Cause upload apparently stopped. I use the default parameter, maybe they're they're actually uh, asking for too much. I really don't have the best connection in the world, so obviously broadcasting might be a little bit tricky. Hi, I'm Ted. Come on, Scout. Entering combat. Time to end this. There's... There is... This guy, and there is this guy. So if I shoot a Mortar here... Wait, I'll just actually... Hold on a second. Where can I actually do a lot uh, more damage? I can just push that guy out of the way like that. And use my tank as a meat shield. These guys are shooting their teammates. Which is kind of funny. Like that. That should break the cover as well as to utterly blow these guys up. That truck trooper is now hidden by the tank. Eddie should be able to finish this job real quick. Come on, Eddie, I'm gunning on you. And mission su uh, successful. That was very sloppy. Also, Steam was very sloppy on this one as well. But I guess that's what it is. That's what happened when you just want to mess around with recordings and stuff. Operation complete. We took their base. So guys, hope you enjoyed that uh, tidbit of video here. Obviously it's not much because I um, just decided to record that for the heck of it and I don't really have time to record anything serious. Also that uh, Sanctub is currently reinstalling my computer since I actually uh, reinstalled Windows because I uh, bought an SSD. But that's pretty much it guys, well, I'll see you later folks, see ya.